Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to your love life. All right, your first card here, Aquarius, is the Five of Wands. This is your current situation, so I see that for some of you guys. Um, you're going to be experiencing a very busy month that's coming in regards to your love and romance. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps feeling a bit agitated, uh, constant misunderstandings or arguments is something that you may be experiencing already. Now, what's keeping you from progress is the Ace of Pentacles. So there was an opportunity that came uh, that perhaps for some of you guys, either you didn't take or perhaps out of fear, um, you didn't jump on that opportunity. Now, for like I said, for those of you guys that are single, it could be that a person has, for some reason, caught your attention. Um, it could be Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but it's almost like I see other people giving you attention or trying to get your attention. But you're focused on this earth energy, um, but you can't really put your finger on it, um, metaphorically speaking, um, because it's almost like a feeling of like you don't know how to read the person um, or you don't know how to approach them. But I definitely do see that you're interested in them. Now, there was a window of opportunity. Uh, perhaps they were receptive. Perhaps they were texting you, calling you more often. And somewhere along the lines, you kind of either got intimidated, didn't know how to deal with it, or for others of you, you kind of just didn't really try. Um, so now I see you guys like you're getting attention from other places, but it's like I see you guys stalking that earth energy or like looking at what they're doing. Um, and, and what Spirit is telling you is that when opportunities present themselves, you need to jump on that Aquarius. Now, your past and passing is the Eight of Swords, feeling restricted, feeling like you can't move forward. Uh, perhaps um, it could be because you feel like there is no progress or there is no getting through your partner for those of you guys that are in a relationship. And there's like this feeling of frustration that's building up or has been building up. Now, your next card here is the Chariot card, and this is what's unfolding before you. Okay, so what they're telling me is that that window of opportunity, for those of you guys that are single, that window of opportunity will be coming up again. And they're saying that it can run from April all the way to the end of May, even June. Um, and I do see travel that's involved. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're interested in this earth energy that perhaps there's some type of distance or they're not originally from where you're from or you will be traveling or wanting to travel to see them. Now, what's on your mind is partnerships, thinking about partnerships or thinking about a specific person. Now, what's coming towards you that is unbeknownst to you is the Six of Wands. So there is victory. There is, uh, again, like I said, I do see travel for some of you Aquarians. And I feel that the travel happens because you're wanting to go towards this person that really has your attention or you're trying to uh, put yourself in a situation that brings you guys to closer proximity. So it could be like a relationship from a distance. Now, the advice card here is the Queen of Swords. So as an advice card, Aquarius, what Spirit is telling you guys is with the Queen of Swords, you have to be, you have to be honest about your intentions towards this person. So you may be dealing with a person that is very self-sufficient, a person that perhaps is in the pursuit of some type of goal. Um, and I do see them open. I do see them interested in partnerships. I just feel that they're not really entertaining the people that they're aware are interested in them, perhaps because they're either not interested at all or they don't feel such a strong connection towards them. With the Queen of Swords, I feel that they are vibing to your energy, Aquarius, but I think that they're they could be a bit preoccupied and if you don't really put effort or you don't really try to extend that communication they're not really going to go out of their way to make it happen either so i think that at this point if you're wanting to progress or you're wanting to pursue this person you have to be the one that takes the initiative aquarius 
Now, your next card here is the Seven of Swords, and this is your hopes or fears. Um, so I feel that, again, it could be tainted. It could be that you are unsure um, of what this person, how this person sees you. So it could be frustration of like not knowing how to read them or not knowing if they're interested or not. It could be kind of like texting and then you send a winky face and then they send a winky face. Um, and then you say something like, I don't know, something that throws it out there like you're interested in them. And then they're like, oh, you're such an awesome friend. And that throws you off. It's like, wait, what? I <laughs> so it's like you don't really know how to read this person. But I feel that this person like gets a thousand ideas like per minute. So I see them very like focused and determined on what they're doing. So I think that, again, we go back to that of like, I see them not really putting like, or putting a lot of effort in getting to know you, but it's not because they're not feeling you, Aquarius. It's more to do because they're busy. Um, so again, you're the one that needs to take the initiative or it's up to you how you want to progress or pursue this relationship. It, it There is a promise here for something long-term though, for something that is um, substantially um, fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, now with the Seven of Swords, again, like I said, I feel that there is a lot of like insecurities in regards to this person. Perhaps you're intimidated. Um, perhaps there is, like I said, a feeling of not knowing where they stand or what they feel about you. So you're kind of iffy about it. Um, but I think that this is more like in your head. It's Again, I feel like it's coming up more as fear. So intimidation could be um, something that you experience with this person. Now, your next card here is the page of pentacles. So, yeah, I see communication very like dragged out or like random or sporadic communication. And maybe that's the reason why you don't really know how to pursue this. But again, they are saying that this has good promise. Um but it is going to take for you to be the one to take the initiative or for you to be the one to pursue this person. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, what they're saying here is that there is miscommunication, um, misunderstandings, but I think that you're coming, like you're trying to be as understanding as possible, even if it comes at like sacrificing yourself or your happiness. Perhaps you've been unhappy for like the past two months or something as an example, but you really care for this person and you're trying to work or find the balance in this relationship. Um, now, for those of you guys that recently ended a relationship, I think that, again, the, the the feeling of like someone's definitely got your attention and you're definitely wanting to get to know them. Um, you got to put your insecurities aside, Aquarius, or pride aside. And if you're interested in this person, or I should say, if you're wanting to pursue this relationship, you're going to have to be the one to take the initiative. Otherwise, I don't see it, you know, pretty much getting out of the stagnation that you're currently dealing with. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.